The sustainability program at Lindsay Wilson College is finding new and exciting ways to increase sustainability by using waste products from the college. Doug Keaton, sustainability coordinator, is responsible for creating biodiesel by converting waste vegetable oil for the school's diesel vehicles. Keaton discovered a way to create a new product called the BioFire Starting Burger by using byproducts. That is the glycerin fallout from processing waste vegetable oil and making diesel fuel. The top layer, which is also a large segment of the container, is biodiesel. That is what we made with that waste vegetable oil and that's what we were looking to get. The white line across the middle, that is what typically um, biodiesel processing or biodiesel manufacturing companies would typically throw that away and what we found is a unique source for that in this bio burger. We have found that we can separate that white layer from everything else in that container and use that white layer mixed with sawdust which is another waste product from carpentry work that's done here on campus and we can turn that into a useful product being this bio fire starting burger. Students in the sustainability program are developing hands-on skills that will prepare them for future green careers. You see one of my students mixing um, sawdust with the other ingredients that um, make up the biofire starting burger. That would be the animal fats and the nasty ingredients that's left over from all the byproduct. As you mix that, you're checking for the texture. Um, you want that to be moist but not wet. Um, if you need to add some more, that's what you see a student doing there and again continually checking for the texture that looks like it's ready to press and put into a mold you can see the student holding a mold in his uh, hand and he's going to fill that mold up through the bucket press it on the side and once he has the mold filled completely full um, he'll lay that on the table and uh, use a glass bottle that we <laughs> found in the trash to recycle and he will use that to um, press both sides of this burger. Once he's pressed both sides of the burger he'll then push that out of the mold then we're going to weigh that bio burger. We're looking for 120 to 130 grams. Once we get that weight then we can start the packaging. The packaging would be just like this. Put it in heat shrink and cut off the excess with your um, iron. We're going to blow hot air onto that and seal that packaging up. You see it gets a good seal all the way around it, prevents leaks, uh, prevents making a mess, and now the test burn. And it will engulf the surrounding edge and across the top as it continues to expand in um, intensity sitting in this tray you can you could slide it under the grill that it's sitting on you can boil water with it you can cook you could purify water with it there are multiple things you could do you could even just dry out some clothes to keep your hands warm you can see the temperature expanding or as the flame expands uh, temperature rising we get a flash you know 450 460 degrees and we're using an infrared thermometer to continually check that temperature one of the nice things that you'll notice uh, when you burn one of these there's no odor and minimal smoke um, very safe biodegradable user friendly simple to use 120 grams will burn for about two hours. Average temperature 725, 740 degrees. For more information about the program, visit the Lindsay Wilson College website at www.lindsay.edu.